China is poised to make history with its Chang'e 6 mission, aiming to land on the far side of the moon, a region shrouded in mystery and rarely explored due to communication challenges. If successful, this mission will bring back the first samples ever collected from this enigmatic part of the lunar surface. The Chang'e 6 spacecraft, launched on May 3rd aboard a Long March 5 rocket, marks China's second sample return mission, following the success of Chang'e 5, which brought back material from the moon's near side in 2020. Chang'e 6 aims to collect approximately 2 kilograms of lunar rock and soil from the far side. The target is the Apollo crater in the moon's southern hemisphere. This area is of particular interest to scientists because it remains largely unexplored. The far side of the moon always faces away from Earth, making it difficult to study and communicate with landers and rovers. Scientists hope that the samples collected by Chang'e 6 will provide insights into the amount of water ice present in the region. Understanding water ice distribution is crucial for future crewed missions, as it can be used for drinking water, oxygen, and even fuel. The Chang'e 6 mission represents a significant leap forward in China's lunar exploration program. The mission's success could pave the way for future missions and eventually lead to the establishment of a crewed lunar base in the 2030s. This ambitious goal reflects China's commitment to becoming a leading spacefaring nation. Landing on the far side of the moon presents significant challenges due to the lack of a direct communications link with Earth. However, with the help of the Kuekiao 2 relay satellite, we can maintain contact with Chang'e 6 during its mission. This satellite, launched in March this year, plays a crucial role in relaying data between the far side of the moon and Earth. On June 1st, the lander and ascender modules will separate from the orbiter, beginning a 15-minute automated descent to the lunar surface. The descent and landing are highly automated due to the communication delay with Earth. Once on the moon, the lander will use a robotic scoop and drill to take surface samples of rocks and dust. It will also dig approximately two meters below the surface to extract deeper deposits, which could reveal more about the moon's geological history. Once the samples are collected, they will be transferred to the Ascender module, which will then launch to rendezvous with the orbiter. This stage of the mission is critical and requires precise coordination. The samples will be placed in a return capsule designed to withstand the harsh conditions of space travel and the intense heat of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The expected landing date for the return capsule is June 25th at the Siziwang Banner Site in Inner Mongolia, a location known for its suitability for such landings. The potential scientific benefits of the Chang'e 6 mission are immense. By analyzing the samples returned from the far side of the moon, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of the moon's composition, the history of impacts in the South Pole Aitken Basin, and the presence of volatile elements like water. This information could help piece together the history of our solar system and inform future lunar exploration missions. The discovery and analysis of lunar samples from the far side of the moon could also have practical implications for space exploration. Understanding the resources available on the moon, such as water ice, could make long-term human habitation more feasible. Additionally, the data gathered from the Chang'e 6 mission will contribute to our overall knowledge of planetary science and aid in the planning of future missions, not only to the moon, but also to other celestial bodies. This mission not only marks a significant milestone in lunar exploration, but also opens new frontiers for scientific research and international collaboration. As China continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, the Chang'e 6 mission stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Stay tuned as we follow Chang'e 6's journey and the groundbreaking discoveries it promises to bring.